Good morning. Welcome to Inside Talk Show. Inside Talk Show, it's an inside job. I'm Carla Elizondo. Happy Monday. It's another week. We're all here. Let's serve and be happy and fulfill all of those dreams that whisper to us in our hearts. We're continuing the reading of James Allen's Out From the Heart. I love this book so far. Out From the Heart. We're on chapter four, titled Doing and Knowing. I already know I'm going to love this. Let a man realize that his life in its totality proceeds from his mind. Let him realize that the mind is a com combination of habits which he can, by patient effort, modify to any extent and over which he can thus gain complete ascendancy, mastery, and control. That sounds like some far-fetched dream. Oh yeah, right. I can control my mind. We don't even know what we're up against. I can't control the thoughts in my mind. We've talked a lot about this. We have, first, I don't think we were ever truly, truly taught. It's such a occult or hidden way of life. But now that it's in the open, it's not, we can know it, but it's hard to do. It's difficult to do. It's out of our comfort zone that we can truly be the master, but it takes daily, hourly, minutely practice. But if you want it, you can have it. It's just shifting our mindset of, way, of a way of being. So it says, let a person realize that the mind is a combination of habits, habits which they can be by patient effort, modify to any extent and over and over which they can thus gain complete ascendancy mastery and control at once they will have obtained possession of the key which shall open the door to their complete emancipation freedom do you feel like a slave to your mind do you feel like you're being beat up daily this is the key through patient, constant effort, knowing, learning, studying, understanding, gaining awareness of how this world, how we work, we're free. We're free. I think everybody wants that. We always just don't know how to. So this is how we do it. But freedom from the ills of life, which are the ills of one's mind, is a matter of steady growth from within from within inside job from within and not a sudden acquisition from without we look a lot outside of us i love you know i love me some impersonal life by joseph benner it's the impersonal life it talks about how and neville goddard talks about this jesus talked about this everybody talked about this all the greats well the ones that i think are great it's from within the power is within the kingdom of heaven is within everything with that you need is within you. Do not look outside of you for anything. And in, in the impersonal life, it says, I have led you, the I am, the universe, the God force, the omnipresent isness that is everywhere and permeates and penetrates. The science of getting rich, Wallace D. Wattles talks about this. There is a thinking stuff from which all things permeate, penetrate, come without. That is mind that is everything and it's the source is within us genevieve b ran from thomas troward my mind is a center of divine operation the divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression it starts within and produces without cause effect if the effects are wrong look at the cause in the mirror <laughs> that was a tangent but We look outside, we trust other people. Oh, that's what it was saying. It said, um, we'll notice that this freedom, the freedom from mind, the freedom to, to, to really figure out a philosophy that works in life. And it's not a one and done. Once you figure it out, you're not gonna be good. It's consistent effort. You have to upkeep it daily and you're growing daily. So what do they say? New level, new devil. You always have to keep going and growing. Always be growing, always be going. It's something from within, steady growth, not something that's a sudden acquisition from without. You're not going to meet some master. You're not going to take some course. You're not going to do some class. You're not going to 
you know, find a book. That's it. That's it. A job, the person, marry somebody. That's it. I know it. A certain weight on the scale, a certain, you know, amount in your bank account. When I get there, I'll get nothing without, nothing without will give you this peace and freedom. It can only be obtained within. All of those things are just a result. That should easily and effortlessly fall into place. But when we're working without for those things to get those things, it's force. It's force. Power versus force. David Hawkins. Power from within versus force from without. All right. So hourly and daily must the mind be trained to think stainless thoughts and adapt right and dispassionate attitudes. Right and dispassionate attitudes under those circumstances in which it is prone to fall into wrong, wrong and passion. And I think, remember, when we talked about being dispassionate, not letting our emotions run the show, we're taught we must be passionate. We must be fight for what we want. It's not working. We must be in self, as parts work would say, and not let these passionate parts be taking over. We must be in our dispassionate self. It sounds really unromantic and like, oh, well, that sounds like a boring life. That goes into all these things of like drama and chaos and fighting and arguing is like a healthy, like sexy relationship as opposed to a boring, peaceful one. <laughs> we are so taught ass backwards that suffering and pain and drama and passion Telenovelas, hello. Housewives of whatever, drama, reality shows, that that's life. And calm, peace, just quietness is boring, like is wrong or boring. That's not living. Let's just look at our results. Let's be honest with ourselves. So hourly and daily must the mind be trained to think stainless thoughts and adapt right and dispassionate attitudes under those circumstances in which it is prone to fall into wrong, wrong and passion. Like the patient sculptor upon his marble, the aspirant to the right life must be gradually work, gradually work the crude material of his mind until he has wrought out of it the ideal of his holiest dreams. Like the patient sculptor upon the marble, the aspirant to the high life must gradually work upon the crude material of the mind until it has wrought out of it the ideal of their holiest dreams. I like that metaphor. Picture your mind as, picture your mind as rough, crude marble or some sort of um, something you start with, but every day you chip away, you chip away to form the life you want. Are you chipping away daily? What are you doing? Like I said before, we're not going to find it outside of us. I say this all the time. When clients come and study with me, right? They do the program, the six month program, that alone, paying the money and getting the program is not going to give it to you. That is just the foundation, foundation for which you can then actually really the only you have to get a program you have to get a program make your own sign up for one but you have to have a program because if you don't you're just drifting if you don't know where you're going you're just drifting do you have a goal do you have a plan do you have a goal written down what are you working towards it's august 15th we have four, four and a half months left of the year. Where do you want to be by New Year, by the New Year? Where do you want to be by January 1st, 2023? Where do you want to be? If you do not set a goal or a plan in motion, you're going to be in the same spot. We're always growing or dying. We must choose life or death daily. We must. It will not be handed to us. It will not, like James Allen said, be we might we will not stumble upon it 
we will not just stumble upon greatness. We will not just stumble upon a great life. It won't just happen because we're good people. It won't just happen because we pray. It won't just happen because we meditate. It won't just happen because we have crystals and candles and bells. It won't just happen. We are co-creators. We are co-creators get into the right mindset, get around the right people, get around the right books, get around the right programs, and then do. It's a balance. It's both. It's both. It's not one or the other. It's not just go, 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 grind. And it's not just meditate and, you know, sit on your lily pad and attract. It's both. It's both. And with all of that said, Find a philosophy that works for you. Find a philosophy that works for you, that feels good, that resonates, that gets you excited. And surround yourself with people who will keep you accountable, who believe in you, who, who will support you. What other option do we have? What other option do we have? I encourage you today, reach out to me if what I say resonates to whoever you've been listening to, if there's YouTube videos, if there's a certain program or a mentor that you've really wanted to take a course or a class, reach out, make a move, take action. Life is not guaranteed. Life is so precious. Life is not guaranteed. Let's live right now. Let's live today fully. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you tomorrow.